about quark gluon plasma? That's bad. That's bad for physics. With the cosmic microwave background, the leftover radiation from the Big Bang. But you would like something um, more that you could bring to people, saying that this is very val valuable and tangible stuff. In 2008, there was a lot of talk about CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, possibly causing some major trouble. Now, once again, CERN is hitting the headlines. But this time, it's shrouded in mystery. There are whispers about strange things happening behind its walls, especially concerning its Large Hadron Collider, LHC, which some fear could have catastrophic consequences for the universe. Recent reports claim that the LHC is producing some mind-bending results, like uncovering new dimensions. To sort through the facts and fiction, Joe Rogan took on the topic in a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, delving into the shadowy world of the LHC's experiments. What he uncovered is pretty unsettling, and it seems mainstream media has been avoiding the whole story. So, what exactly is going on inside the LHC, and could it hold the secrets to reality itself? Let's explore how JRE is shedding light on something eerie brewing at CERN that nobody seems able to explain. CERN stands as a beacon of scientific achievement recognized worldwide for its groundbreaking work in particle physics. Nestled in Geneva, straddling the border of Switzerland and France, this institution has long been dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of the universe's fundamental makeup. However, recent experiments, as highlighted by Joe Rogan, have stirred both curiosity and apprehension. Before these latest endeavours, CERN has been proactive in exploring untested theories, striving for answers. Among its notable triumphs is the detection of the Higgs boson, affectionately known as the God particle. This elusive particle, envisioned by physicist Peter Higgs in 1964, eluded observation for decades. Integral to the standard model of particle physics, the Higgs boson is linked with the Higgs field, thought to pervade the cosmos uniformly. This field endows particles with mass, a crucial attribute essential for the formation of atoms and, as far as our knowledge extends, the existence of life. CERN's crown jewel, the Large Hadron Collider LHC, <coughs> exemplifies the pinnacle of modern science and engineering. Comprising a crimson ring of superconducting magnets and accelerating structures, the LHC propels particle beams to velocities nearing the speed of light, culminating in controlled collisions facilitated by powerful magnetic fields. These particle streams navigate separate conduits within the colossal machine, meticulously guided for precision and cooled to temperatures colder than the depths of space. These superconducting marvels epitomize the advanced technology fueling CERN's quest for scientific breakthroughs. Harnessing cutting-edge technology, the collider can propel protons to energies surpassing 13,000 giga electron volts, GeV, an unparalleled feat unmatched by any other particle accelerator to date. With each collision within the Large Hadron Collider, a flurry of new particles emerges, reminiscent of the chaotic moments following the Big Bang. This process allows physicists to delve deep into the fundamental properties of matter, moving beyond mere observation to true understanding of the universe's essence. To scrutinize these particles effectively, intricate multi-layer detectors envelop the collision points, capturing and recording the aftermath of each collision. Through a complex array of technologies, these detectors sift through the myriad particles generated in the collisions, allowing experimental physicists to meticulously analyze the data. This scrutiny extends to phenomena like the behavior of the elusive Higgs boson. Operating the Large Hadron Collider and dissecting its data necessitates a collaborative effort involving thousands of physicists, engineers, and technicians from around the world. The sheer volume of data produced by the collider is staggering, with the CERN data center processing approximately one petabyte or one million gigabytes of data daily from experiments. Moreover, the LHC operates in cycles, conducting experiments in bursts, followed by extended shutdowns for maintenance and enhancements. These downtime periods facilitate upgrades that amplify the collider's luminosity, leading to increased collision rates and richer data yields for experiments. The discovery of the Higgs boson, made possible by the LHC, confirmed the existence of the Higgs field, shedding light on how particles acquire mass. 
This breakthrough filled a crucial gap in the standard model of particle physics, which serves as a comprehensive framework describing all fundamental forces and particles in the universe. However, this revelation also spurred further inquiries into the nature of the cosmos and the conditions prevailing in the universe's early stages post-Big Bang. Apart from the groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson, CERN's impact stretches across diverse scientific and practical realms. One standout accomplishment was the birth of the World Wide Web by Sir Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. Initially conceived to facilitate information exchange among physicists worldwide, this innovation seeded the Internet as we know it today. It fundamentally transformed how information is shared and accessed, revolutionizing communication and information technology. In the field of medicine, CERN's contributions to design and data processing have been invaluable in the development of positron emission tomography PET scans. These scans, which utilize particles emitted by a radio tracer to visualize the human body, have played a crucial role in diagnosing and treating diseases like cancer. CERN's proficiency in handling vast data sets has also spurred advancements in computing and data technology. Moreover, the techniques employed to process the enormous volume of data generated by particle collisions in the LHC have had ripple effects across various industries such as aerospace, space exploration and finance. CERN's innovations in magnet superconductivity, critical in the design of magnetic resonance imaging MRI machines, stand as another example. These machines enable medical diagnoses without the need for radiation thanks to the success of superconducting magnets originally developed for channeling particle beams in the Large Hadron Collider. This success has paved the way for more sophisticated and powerful MRI magnets. Furthermore, CERN's research has propelled scientists toward a deeper understanding of antimatter with potential applications in energy and material science. For instance, the antiproton decelerator facilitates precise studies of antiproton particles, shedding light on the fundamental asymmetry between matter and antimatter in the universe. Such studies are only made feasible through CERN's ongoing research efforts. There's no denying the pivotal role that CERN's research plays in our ongoing quest to comprehend the universe. Yet, CERN has its fair share of both supporters and skeptics. Platforms like the Joe Rogan podcast have ignited discussions and controversies regarding CERN and its crown jewel, the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. These discussions have raised legitimate questions about the potential ramifications of pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration. Joe Rogan, among others, has voiced concerns about CERN's ambitious endeavors in particle physics, particularly focusing on the theoretical risk of creating black holes or triggering other catastrophic events. While these concerns lack empirical evidence, they tap into a broader apprehension about delving into uncharted scientific territories. The apprehension that experiments at CERN could inadvertently set off unforeseen dangers underscores a deep-seated unease about the limits of human technological prowess. When delving into the research projects spearheaded by CERN, especially those within the intricate workings of the Large Hadron Collider, we encounter a complex interplay of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics, the cornerstone of modern physics, elucidates the physical properties of nature at atomic and subatomic scales, forming the bedrock of CERN's research endeavors, including those at the LHC. The divergence between quantum mechanics and classical physics lies in the introduction of principles like superposition and entanglement. These principles dictate that particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously and exhibit interconnectedness irrespective of spatial separation. Among the myriad intriguing and debatable theories within quantum mechanics, the many worlds theory stands out. This theory posits the existence of an infinite multitude of universes, each representing a distinct outcome of every action, choice and event. In the context of CERN's high-energy collision experiments, discussions revolving around the implications of quantum mechanics and the many worlds theory offer valuable insights into the discourse surrounding the research at hand.
Despite unfounded anxieties, thorough scientific inquiry remains the only path to comprehending the risks and rewards of CERN's endeavours. The Many Worlds theory posits that micro-events like particle collisions at CERN can spawn diverse parallel worlds that forever remain separate and independent. These interconnected universes encompass the myriad possibilities of each individual happening simultaneously. For instance, an experiment at CERN may yield one outcome in one universe and a different result in another echoing the quantum mechanical concept of superposition, where particles exist in multiple potential states until observed. The implications of the many worlds theory for CERN's experiments are plentiful, albeit largely theoretical. If valid, the high-energy collisions within the Large Hadron Collider could unveil profound mysteries of our universe and potentially even facilitate communication with these parallel realities. However, while tantalising, this idea remains firmly within the realm of theory. Moreover, the many worlds interpretation offers a distinctive viewpoint on causality and decision making in a universe where every conceivable combination of physical laws and evolutionary outcomes unfolds within a unique multiverse. Another enigma in quantum mechanics, and consequently in experiments at CERN, is the measurement problem. This quandary arises from the notion that particle attributes are indefinite until observed. Before measurement, particles simultaneously inhabit multiple states, lacking defined qualities until observation occurs. These quantum conundrums complicate our comprehension of the true nature of events within experiments like those conducted at the Large Hadron Collider. The observed outcomes may represent merely one of numerous potential results, prompting profound inquiries into the essence of reality and our capacity to grasp it fully. Discussions surrounding the nature of CERN's experiments have thus far centered on quantum mechanics and the many worlds theory, with many considering these issues pivotal in understanding the essence of CERN's endeavors. Contemplating the notion of parallel universes Joe Rogan and Max Laughlin delve into speculation about the potential inadvertent creation of a pathway to a parallel universe by scientists at CERN. Max Laughlin, a remarkable physicist renowned for his unconventional insights into theoretical physics, has garnered attention for his unconventional interpretations of Kern's experiments. Recognized as a prodigy within the scientific community, Laughlin gained acclaim for his adept grasp of complex scientific concepts from a young age. Laughlin's theories regarding CERN pose alarming scenarios, particularly concerning experiments conducted with the Large Hadron Collider. He suggests that the high-energy collisions within the collider might open portals to alternate dimensions, allowing for interactions with hitherton known realms of reality. However, the mainstream scientific community, grounded in rigorous evidence and peer review standards, views Laughlin's theories with skepticism, considering them speculative and lacking the empirical evidence necessary for scientific validation. While CERN's experimental methodologies are undeniably groundbreaking, the scientific community asserts that they adhere to established laws of physics. Speculations about the risks associated with CERN's experiments include concerns about generating black holes, disrupting the space-time continuum, or inadvertently accessing alternate dimensions. The notion that LHC experiments could spawn black holes is rooted in theories positing that high-energy collisions could produce transient miniature black holes and Hawking radiation. However, physicists at CERN and within the wider scientific community tend to dismiss such concerns, citing the generation of similar black holes by naturally occurring higher energy cosmic rays in Earth's atmosphere, which have not proven harmful. Similarly, speculation about disrupting the space-time continuum, often portrayed in science fiction films as leading to profound alterations in reality, remains a theoretical curiosity devoid of empirical evidence. Such disruption would entail modifications to the fundamental forces or constants of nature governing the universe. While captivating in theoretical terms, there exists no empirical or theoretical substantiation for such disruptions within actual scientific discourse. Within the current framework of physics, the notion of disrupting the space-time continuum lacks validation. 
Similarly, concerns about accidentally accessing alternate dimensions stem from theories suggesting the existence of additional dimensions beyond the familiar three-dimensional space and one-dimensional time. Theories like string theory propose that these extra dimensions may be compactified or concealed at scales currently beyond our experimental reach. Consequently, the prospect of accessing these dimensions through experiments at CERN remains purely theoretical and lacks empirical substantiation within our current scientific understanding. As scientists push the boundaries of knowledge, ethical questions emerge regarding the responsibilities inherent in wielding such power. Considerations encompass potential environmental impacts, experiment safety, and the broader ramifications of scientific breakthroughs. Our ongoing debate revolves around striking a balance between scientific exploration and the prudence required when grappling with forces and particles that elude complete comprehension. While the pursuit of knowledge is paramount, it must be tempered by an awareness of the potential wider implications of groundbreaking research. Joe Rogan has delved into these moral and philosophical dimensions in his podcast discussions, contemplating the ethical considerations surrounding CERN's work. He reflects on the responsibility of scientists when engaging in experiments with potential dangerous and unforeseen consequences. Rogan also offers a critical viewpoint, questioning the moral implications of such pursuits and the risks involved in expanding our understanding. One of his notable concerns revolves around the Mandela effect, which describes a phenomenon where a large group recalls an event or detail differently from recorded history or reality. Coined by Fiona Broom in 2009, the Mandela effect arises from collective false memories, such as the misconception that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s, despite his passing in 2013. This effect underscores the fallibility of human memory, influenced by various factors that can lead to shared false recollections of events or details among large groups diverging significantly from documented history. The prevalence of these false memories prompts intriguing inquiries into the workings of human memory and perception. Psychologists attribute this phenomenon to cognitive biases, memory distortions, and social influences. The human brain adeptly fills memory gaps with false information that aligns with existing beliefs or prevalent narratives. Within the context of CERN and its experiments, particularly those involving the Large Hadron Collider, some propose a link between the Mandela effect and alterations in quantum states. This theory posits that high-energy particle collisions could impact the fabric of reality, resulting in subtle yet significant modifications to our timeline or collective memory. According to this theory, changes occurring at the quantum level, potentially during experiments at CERN, could propagate to the macroscopic scale, leading to widespread collective false memories akin to the Mandela effect. This correlation between the Mandela effect and CERN's Large Hadron Collider experiments emerges from the intricate and often enigmatic realm of quantum mechanics. Some speculate that these experiments might exert subtle influences on reality beyond the microscopic level. They propose that the collider's operations could momentarily disrupt the functioning of space and time, albeit in a minuscule and fleeting manner, potentially altering collective recollections of historical events or cultural phenomena. Another facet of this theory stems from quantum entanglement, where particles become interconnected and influence each other instantaneously regardless of distance. Some posit that when particles collide within the Large Hadron Collider, they may forge such connections that extend outward, potentially altering reality in unforeseen ways. Additionally, there's the notion that if parallel universes or alternate dimensions exist, as certain interpretations of quantum physics suggest, the Collider's experiments might briefly intersect with these other realities. This interaction could give rise to slight overlaps or exchanges between different timelines, resulting in shared false memories among individuals. However, some experts argue that these ideas lack solid proof. They contend that the Mandela effect might be better understood through the lens of cognitive processes rather than through any peculiar physics. Moreover, they assert that based on our understanding of quantum mechanics, it's improbable that particle collisions could significantly influence human history or memory on a large scale.
Despite these counter-arguments, certain unsettling incidents at CERN have heightened concerns about the activities conducted within the facility. While the Large Hadron Collider has greatly advanced our knowledge of particle physics, its operation still prompts questions regarding potential unintended consequences, especially when operating at maximum energy levels. One major concern revolves around the potential impact of these high-energy experiments on Earth's magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field serves as a protective barrier, shielding the planet from solar winds and cosmic radiation. There's apprehension that the intense energy and magnetic fields generated by the Large Hadron Collider could interfere with or even damage this natural defence mechanism. Another area of worry pertains to the potential effects of the Large Hadron Collider on solar storms. Solar storms, characterised by eruptions of electromagnetic radiation and matter from the Sun, can disrupt satellite communications, navigation systems and even power grids on Earth. There's a fear that any disruptions caused by the Large Hadron Collider to Earth's magnetic field could render our planet more susceptible to these solar phenomena. Such vulnerability could lead to more frequent and severe technological disruptions, potentially affecting millions. The worst case scenario entails a global blackout, depriving us of technology and electricity and potentially precipitating an apocalyptic crisis. Nevertheless, it's crucial to acknowledge that these concerns largely remain theoretical. The Large Hadron Collider operates within established safety parameters, and there's no direct evidence suggesting that its experiments pose any adverse effects on Earth's magnetic field or increase the risk of solar storms. The LHC's design and operation stem from decades of scientific research and technological advancements overseen by some of the world's foremost physicists. CERN has conducted extensive safety assessments and external reviews, all leading to the conclusion that experiments conducted with the Large Hadron Collider are safe. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, be sure to click on the video on your screen for more fascinating content like this one.